buildings coming into view. The first one there, that small red one with the white trim and gray roof, is the Caller Mansion. It was built in 1861. It's a bed and breakfast these days. The big four-story building is the Fort Ford School Building. It was built in 1875, and they designed it to house over 1,000 students in all the grades, 1 through 12. They had classrooms on all four floors, and the gymnasium, that was up on the top floor. They closed this school down in 1936, among a couple of other things. They were just a little too close to this big open pit mine on our left. And yes, they're still doing a little bit of mining here these days. Well, this is one of the first public schools west of the Mississippi to have indoor drinking fountains and central heating. They've got a fine museum inside and they're open till 5 o'clock. Oh, by 1875, there were 25,000 people in the city. And another 10,000 in Gold Hill, a mile behind us. And what a place. There were 110 saloons in town. But they also had 50 dry goods stores, 35 hotels and boarding houses, 22 restaurants, 6 churches, 6 five breweries and four banks. Even Tiffany's had an exchange here. This was a wealthy city and money from this area financed a lot of the early construction of San Francisco as well. Built in another section of this city, the miner in the White House then built here. When the miner in the Red House found out his enemy had built here, he went out on the property next door and he had his house moved right down here to the property line so it could block his enemy's sun during the day and the cool breezes in the summer evenings as well. Oh, he really did do a good job. I want you to look on our right, straight down below us here now, and you'll see how close those two houses are. They're just inches apart. They're fairly famous and known as the Spite Houses. What a neighbor.